Alright, what's up guys? MSM Philly back here. I'm back here with my good friend Cosmic. Hello. Uh, and been looking online on the Steam Market lately, and I noticed the park. Basically, what this is is a narrative horror game. And Josh, what am I like with horror games? Pussy. Uh, I could take. I suppose I could take that. I wouldn't say I'm that, but I just won't play horror games. I can't stand horror games at all. But anyway, I thought may as well give my commit, give my audience a laugh, and just play a horror game. I, I'll, I'll try my best to make this into a series, because as you know, most of the series I make are absolute failures. <laughs> but uh, I will try my best. So. As I've already tried the game, I see how well it's like. I will lower its file, and we shall get into the game. Park is a narrative experience best played in dark room, in a dark room wearing headphones. Oh my God, I suck up for that. Deal with subject now. There may be disturbing to some players. Josh, it might be disturbing for you. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on a, I've been on the dark web. This got nothing on me. <laughs> right. Anyway, here we go. I would share my audio with you, Josh, but I can't do anything. <laughs> it's okay. So all you're gonna hear is me like either screaming or jumping out of my seat, and you don't know what the fuck I'm hearing. Oh, give the game a chance. To and I'll probably predict when the jump scares are happening. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, my screen just jumped. Out, I don't know why. In my heart and mind, oh. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's my mouse? Oh, okay. Got the sight of a woman. Nice. Where's Mr. Bear? Oh god, she high. What the fuck's Mr. wrong with her bloody eyes? <laughs> she like bloodshot. Be. She must be. She has not slept for days. Oh, she's high. Stay in the car. What kind of drugs? Information. Probably weed. Uh, could be. Uh, well, weed makes your eyes bloodshot. No, I can't move. Click on the game. I'm clicking on the fucking game. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Cheers. Uh, it seems okay for now. It's been raining. Oh, Are we in that? Cardiff? Yeah, it probably isn't Cardiff. Fucking shit, you British. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. The park Please is now closed. No shit. Press left. Press the left mouse button to interact with black. Okay, examine black. Examine black. Callum was born the day this place opened. Atlantic Island this Island is Park, a tribute to the untamed the heart world. of Solomon Island and the people who use the talents to bring the dream of Fanya Winter to life. But may this park be a place where joy and laughs are gathered and are used to infect all those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May, 1977, James B. Longley. I don't know. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, right, I need to go here. Okay, we've got a cutscene. Alrighty, that was quick. Oh, she's high. She's definitely high. She That's must LSD. be high. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep Do breath. They? Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Oh. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates. No now. shit! She's gonna lose a kid. She's got to find a kid, isn't she? I have no idea. I've never played this. Press right, right button to shout to Callum. Shouting provides audible and visual clues to guide you. Wait for mommy, Callum! This way! Oh, she's up here. When the hell did the kid get in here? Last time we seen the kid was inside the car. Yeah, but if you if you heard, if you heard he, he said um, the real world and the world your kid your kid has just ran, ran into the park because he unlocked the gates. The apathy of our everyday life. Of course, you can't hear this, can you? And on the other. Well, either that kid's really really fast at oh. running, or he can teleport. I wonder, Calum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave you. I don't know. No, I don't think I don't know. Yes, the park is now closed. Yes, you fucking said that. Just carry on with the fucking game. Callum, I don't need to clean this park up. It's all rusty. 
Oh. Oh. She's gonna black out. Yep, she's blacked out. I don't know. It's gone really good. Oh. What the actual fuck? Now it's night time. It's oh shit. Suddenly gone dark. And he's disappeared. Teleporting. See, I told you. Press shift to tunnel running. Wait, Callum. Oh, there he is. Come here, you fuck. Come here now, you little shit. Come back, Callum. Damn, that kid can run really fast. Yep. Oh, I stopped running. <clears throat> Oh my god, what a prick. Tell him. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he's disappeared, yep. He's a fast child. Tell him. Where'd you go? Catch me, mommy. Oh. Oh. We have. Oh, exa examine shoot. I think this belongs to Callum. Oh dear, we have found Callum's shoe. And the shoe is now floating in midair. Okay. So a kid can teleport and she has telekinesis. She has tele what? Telekinesis, floating through your mind. Ah, uh, okay. Examine plaque. Shout the chipmunk, huh? Shout the chipmunk. Welcome Just to Atlantic Island suit. Park. Chad can be seen daily. I sculpted, I sculpted in the following locations. Slideshow Alley. The Octoron, the park entrance. Chad the chipmunk works in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, like likes the fight. Chad gets beaten every night. No, Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a have a dead end job. Chad will die a loser slob. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay, we got toilets. Can I get into the toilets or not? Come back. No, nope. I got the toilets. Hmm. Let's go this way. Ah, look. Oh, we got a save point. Okay. Hmm. Hang on. Whoa, creepy laugh. Okay, uh. Which way do we go? Do we go on boat ride, or do we go right? Uh, can you get on the boat? Uh, oh, stay where there you it are. is. Come on, mommy. He must be on the boat ride. Oh, is this? Okay. Trash. Yep, trash. Oh, he's on the right. Go after him now. After him. And oh. Stop! Kill him! Okay, so we have a little mini cutscene right now, I think. Ah, oh, here we go. Hello. Okay, we seem now to have lost Callum. This is a great start, isn't it? Isn't it, Cos? Oh uh, yeah. Two minutes into the game, we already lose our son on a boat ride. <sighs> this is fucking amazing. Twins, this, this doesn't look great. Nope. Forest. There lived a poor woodcutter. His wife and Ooh, his two scary. Children. A boy named a boy Hansel, Hansel, a girl named and Gretel. A girl named Gretel. They were very. Oh, really? Are they seriously now going to go through the whole Hansel and Gretel story? Up. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his mm. wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that," said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Okay, it's randomly gone very, very. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Okay. Do not fret, Gretel," Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. What's the next part? 
by here. The next yep. morning, the woodcutter kind of leads his the children to the forest. The forest. Okay. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Hmm. Okay. Clever Hansen leaves a trail, trail of white stones, stones behind, behind them oh. as they pass into the woods. I do believe this story is going to take a while. The children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Okay. After, After receiving, receiving a thorough scolding, scolding from, from their parents for getting, for getting lost, lost in the woods, in the, woods mm. the children are sent, sent to bed to without house. any supper. Wow. Tried to sneak okay. out and collect more white stones, but found <clears> the <throat> door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. I know this story, so I don't know why I'm listening. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice, slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Then they go, then they go. Oh! Whoa! What the hell? Hansel broke his bread I can't even look behind me. And left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Yep. And then he finds the witch's house made of gingerbread and they eat it. Parents, and unable to find the trail home. Yeah, that's the normal story. That oh, is the story. story. It's a normal story. It's the one people mostly tell, but there's other stories. Yeah, any fairy tale like that used to come from Grimm's fairy tales, which is more darker. House. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble the echoes. My house. An old woman emerged from the house. We had a house made out of sweets and stuff. It would go rotten really quickly. Yeah, that's why I don't. That's why I don't understand how the how the house managed to build it and hasn't fallen down due to rain or thunder. Just come in and Hot sun. No harm will come to you. Yeah. Hansel and Gretel Gretel stayed stayed back. back. For the old, the old woman, my mother, their cruel mother. Their cruel mother. Hmm. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. Hmm. The old woman yes. offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began yeah. to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old hmm. woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Hmm. This is a typical story of a pedophile. Whoa! What the Once fuck did I just say there? The old woman changed. Oh, hang on. She stuck the jugs are in there again. A cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping Sweet. and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Mm. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Oh, beautiful. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch... Ah, we're almost coming to the end now. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. And this is where the witch gets pushed in, they steal all the money, and then they run back home to a farm. Find out the nuts kill, man. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, okay. the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Yeah, that's the next part. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat, sat by, by the, the other until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Yep. And now they find all the money and then run home. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, 
They divided up the body of the old witch. Oh no! That's yeah. not what I've heard. Oh no! All right, it's the end now. It's the end. It's the end of the story. No, you say. What the? Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> no! This is a sign of bad things to come. Save me, please. Holy fuck. That was creepy as shit. Yeah, that's basically what I was telling you. Um, a couple of days ago when I tried this out. That happened. Yeah, Grim Fairy Tales. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here right now. I'm running. I ain't fucking staying there anymore. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their old parents. The old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Hmm, yeah. All right, anyway, where is he? Don't hide from me, Callum! Hmm, very distant. Where could we be going to next? Oh, there's a vehicle. I bet there's someone to be hiding behind it, I bet you. Any money, someone's behind it. Another accident. Hmm. This place. Whoa, the drugs are kicking in again. Park maintenance. Oh god, I can open the door. Do I open the door? Yeah. <laughs> what a teddy the bear. There's a teddy bear driving. <laughs> I wonder why it crashed. Fuck that, get out of there. It could be something in there. Do I look? Yeah, it could be something in there. Yeah, see, there's oh, a note. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be open in time. The governor is booked to cut the limits, so the only real question is whether he will have any customers. I am not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I, I deduced that what, what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative. And that caused some of the tint that still lingers in this place. I will not make I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. Wait, Callum! Hmm, okay. Let's keep going. And let's just run. I understand no Hmm. Oh Follow the trail. Okay. Wow. Someone set a trap for me. Brilliant. Slowly moving rocks. Very slow. Let's keep going. <sighs> do, you know, do you know I actually love the way these graphics... Oh! There's the wheel. Hmm, okay. An octopus. An octopus, yeah. This doesn't seem too bad, apart from that swan. <laughs> there go my dogs. Oh, another save point. Okay, let's start throwing down a bit. Callum! Where is he? Whoa. The rift in time. What? It's a rift in time. <laughs> Over that, oh, you're going to see a naked Anastasia, isn't it? The old thing used to make busy. my blood run to my head. I'm like, what? I didn't even miss, I didn't hear that then. You were too busy talking. Oh, there's a report. Oh, The guy cute. just snapped. Those poor 
Four kids. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fe this fellow in, in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They, they give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you when you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling out that black of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were prey and the thing in the ice was a hunter. Okay. But then these teenagers walked up and whatever made a faith at the curtain and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. Okay. For a few moments it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one, who had one of the teenagers on the ground. And he was, oh, he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids had the kids and, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. That, that sounds like my kind of pack. That sounds fucking beautiful. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, which way around? Left, left way around or right way around? I don't really think it matters. Sound like coming that way. Let's try this. Try that way. Okay. Go we have. That does not look like an octopus at all. It's a pterodactyl with octopus arms. Oh, no, fine laps. Tell mommy where you are. Hmm. Oh, found the chipmunk. What ride Octotron? Okay. Oh my god, Increase I... the speed! Did you dare me? Yeah, increase the speed. I want to see what happens. Nothing. Oh no, I it's going faster. Now ride it. You dare me to ride it, do you? Yeah, go for it. Uh, oh. yeah, you That's why I'm behind the fucking railing. Oh. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, you have to slow it down. Okay. Oh, no. oh, you need to speed faster. Decrease speed. Decrease speed. No, no, increase, decrease. I can't make it to stop altogether, can I? Can I need to stop it? It's not stopping, okay. Okay, looks like we're not riding that. It's still going there. So I might be, may have to come back to it. Okay. Oh, what was that? Examine Polaroid. Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Oh, good achievement. Ooh, there's a guy in the background. Oh, fuck, there it is. And there it is. Bloody hell. Okay, uh, I keep going. Uh, which way does that take us? Say. Call for Callum again, see if he sounds like he's come from down there. Callum! Where did you go? <laughs> I heard a giggle. Do you come that way anyway? Let's go. Treachery oh. hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts Talk betrayed me. me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, oh, and so far from my expectations. We, uh... and they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, House of Horrors. that one treacherous Ooh. thought became Sounds the foundation. Hmm. All yes. of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that we flowed, go Built on a single Is that the House of Horrors? Must be. Thought. Doesn't look very scary. Is there an entrance anywhere? Oh, read page. 
indeed. I thought walking, working in park Chris summer would be a lot would be a lot of would be a lot of fun. But the end of the season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of the gossip is about Chad. I mean Steve, see? Even I start calling Chad, I went and I went to school with him. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning it was a laugh. Steve the local lush. As Chad the chipmunk. Child friendly mascot at Atlantic, Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all and all of that. But more, the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. So Steve is the chipmunk. Right, okay. At first it was little things like refusing to change out the suit at work and take home with him every day. Now that is weird. But then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park manager about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner. Mr. Winter! Right, okay. Uh, where was I? But nothing seemed to have changed. The suit Mr. Still Winter. Yeah, yeah. The suit still smells like a car, because whenever, whenever Steve walked by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him. Puking up in a gutter outside the side coil station, because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes, those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today. Lucky me. She wants the D. <laughs> and he just hung around for a while. I mean, I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I. F I fucking me? Whatever he yeah, wanted. I fucking mean, it's a common word. Okay. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, whatever, wandered off. My, my supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that shipment suit ever again. Laura Henman. Hmm, okay. Oh, you fuck! Oh, you fuck! Wow. I bet you any money that was Laura. Oh, there's a random ghost I wanted to fuck with you. Fuck that shit, I'm getting out of there. That is my first jump scare in this game. Fucking animals, I'm gonna fucking knock them out. It's okay, where are we to now? Let's find out where we are. I do apologize for the noise in the background. Now my sister's coming in. Oh! Oh, this looks interesting. Bumble cars. Oh, bumble cars. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, well, next episode we shall Once be riding. Oh. Is an 80s music. I guess it's about someone's boat. boat. Alright, well, next episode looks like we're going on bumble cars. Be fun when it goes. No, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Alright, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, drop it a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. But thank you very much, and I will see you all very, very soon. That woman in that window scared the shit out of me. <laughs>